Raven, quote murder one, I don't play. Ladies and gentlemen, backstage now with Raven as he prepares for his matchup with murder one. Raven, it's been a long time since you've been here to Phoenix City. Will your return be a triumphant one? Murder one, well first to answer your question, absolutely. Murder one, it's interesting. Just another person who wants to make a name off of my reputation. Murder one, you are a very talented individual. You are an up and comer, but I use the word up and comer. I am an established legend. There's a humongous difference between the two. And not to denigrate your talent, and not to denigrate your skills, but come on, be serious. Look, sometimes in life we make our own choices. Sometimes the choice is made for us, and sometimes, like tonight, for you, there is no choice. Quote the Raven, nevermore. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, and standing to my right, accompanied tonight by marvelous Michael Stevens. He is the number one contender for the GCW Heavyweight Championship, the leader of the conglomerate. Ladies and gentlemen, the urban legend, Murder One. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent to my left. Billy from the Bowery, weighing 354 pounds, multiple time world heavyweight champion, who is Raven. <laughs> Ladies and And there's the bell. This matchup now is officially underway. It's Raven versus Murder One live here from Great Championship Wrestling. Murder One is the leader of the conglomerate and the number one contender for the GCW Heavyweight Championship and will challenge the champion Scott Steele next Thursday night regardless of the outcome of this matchup here tonight with Raven. But Murder One also is embroiled in a serious situation with Johnny Swinger. Just moments ago, we saw Murder One interject himself into Johnny Swinger's match once again, and I'm getting word backstage that Johnny Swinger is tipping over tables. He is furious at the actions of Murder One earlier tonight. Let's not forget that Raven and Johnny Swinger have a very storied history. In fact, Raven, in 2007, defeated Johnny Swinger on two different occasions to win the GCW Heavyweight Championship. So what does it say for Murder One if here tonight he can dominate the man who dominated Johnny Swinger? It'll simply be another slap in the face to the King of Swing from the urban legend. All Murder One brought in the hard way by Raven. And now he's got the urban legend cornered. You know, earlier tonight, Murder One said that he was not intimidated by Raven. But I would have to say that in the past few moments, Murder One has shown a lot of hesitation in getting involved with Raven. Oh, Murder One got caught sleeping and he paid for it. A well-placed kick by Raven to the middle rope on the inside, causing some frustration for Murder One. Murder One's weekend might be ruined, but if he has any chance of defeating Raven tonight, at some point, he is going to have to get inside the ring. This is not a notice qualification contest. This is not Falls Count Anywhere. This is the main event inside the six-sided sanctuary. And finally, Raven and Murder One are both inside the ring. Side headlock applied there by Murder One. An accomplished wrestler, often pegged as a brawler, Murder One can wrestle with the very best of them. Raven backs into the corner. Referee calling for a clean break and gets it from Raven. And quite frankly, I'm surprised. Murder One wants to mix it up with the fisticuffs, and it looks like Raven is more than happy to oblige. In addition to being a former GCW Heavyweight Champion, Raven has also held the NWA Heavyweight Championship, a title that has been held by such legends as Ric Flair, as Dusty Rhodes, as Sting, as Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Raven is
is in some good company when it comes to his accolades. But here tonight, as he takes on the urban legend murder one, it's not about championships. It is simply a matter of respect. Oh, murder one getting caught once again, joined with the fans, and he paid for it as Raven clamped down on that hand. Raven has really maintained himself in this battle, has remained inside the ring. Raven has done his homework and knows what Murder One is capable of at ringside. Also factor in that Murder One did bring along his conglomerate buddy, his BFF, Marvelous Michael Stevens at ringside, which means Raven is already at a disadvantage. Raven now peppering shots to Murder One. Those shots right to the jaw. Tremendous striking ability, and Raven takes down Murder One. Murder One now trying to get back to his feet. He gets caught, Snapman take over there by Raven, and Raven places the point of the foot into the spine. There's the cover, and two. First cover of the matchup, only one count. Raven knows better. Raven knows it's going to take a lot more than that than to put away Murder One. But Raven is simply sending a message to the urban legend that he is here to win. Raven goes to the cover once again, and no. Once again, Murder One kicks out. Raven now continuing the offense, though. He's got to stay on Murder One, otherwise Murder One will find his opportunity. And when he does, I guarantee Raven will be in trouble. So Raven had better stand his toes. He better avoid any kind of strikes from Murder One and make sure to keep the matchup inside the ring to eliminate the numbers game factor that Murder One has brought to the table. I'm really surprised at the beginning of this matchup, Raven has really dominated Murder One from the get-go. The leader of the conglomerate is not usually this passive, however has really made very few opportunities to strike. Oh, wait a minute. All right there, Murder One was waiting for his opportunity, and he made it count with that low blow. He makes the cover. Oh, not like this. And Raven kicks out. That is the cage veteran that Murder One is as well. Murder One took some abuse early, but he waited for his moment, and when he found it, he made it count. And now it's Raven down on the canvas, and now it's Murder One in control. Raven rolling to the floor, trying to regain his composure. I'm not so sure that's a smart thing to do with Marvelous Michael Stevens at ringside, who is leering at Raven, waiting for his opportunity to strike. Murder One waiting for Raven to get back inside the ring. Oh, but wait a minute. I'm not so sure Raven might be stalking Marvelous Michael Stevens. Yes, he is. And that's a smart strategy there by Raven. Take out the man on the outside so he's no longer a factor in the matchup. But here comes Murder One. Now both Raven and Murder One giving the ringside fans their money's worth as they brawl at ringside. And this one has just become completely lawless. Raven rolls back inside. He's down on the canvas, falls victim to that vicious elbow drop there by Murder One. Raven's shoulders are down. Murder One hooks the leg. And no. Two and three quarters, but Raven able to get the shoulder up. And now Murder One simply strangling his opponent. What is Murder One going to do next week when he challenges the GCW Heavyweight Champion Scott Steele for the GCW Championship? You know, it was only one month ago that Murder One lost that very championship in a very dubious fashion to Scott Steele. What is Murder One going to do? How far will he go to regain the GCW Championship? We will find out next week. Oh, as Murder One delivers a flying elbow right to the face of Raven. Marvelous Michael Stevens now choking on Raven. All referees distracted once again now. Marvelous Michael Stevens getting involved and choking Raven with that boa. It's not illegal, but it is effective. Raven still down on the canvas. Murder One pulls him to the center. Goes for the cover. And no. Once again, Raven able to kick out. There are a lot of similarities between Raven and Murder One. Of course, Murder One is the leader of the conglomerate, but Raven, throughout his entire wrestling career, has been the leader of a group known as The Flock. Now, the Flock has featured some of the biggest names in professional wrestling. However, none of them are here tonight to back up Raven. 
It's almost like Raven has walked into a gang fight without a gang, and he's paying for it right now as following the interference by Marvelous Michael Stevens, Murder One is in complete control and moments away from putting away Raven. Referee now checking the arm. If that arm drops three times, it's over. Raven showing no signs of life. Oh, but there we go. Now Raven showing that he's still in the ball game, but he still has to find a way to break this maneuver. He's not out of the woods yet. Raven to his feet. He buries the elbows into the rib cage of Murder One. He finally breaks the maneuver, but Murder One clubs him in the back of the skull with a vicious right hand. I'm pretty sure it was a closed fist. He drops the knee. He goes for the cover, and no. Raven kicking out once again and showing he's still got some energy left in his body. Raven may still have some fight left in him, but he's got to find a way to alleviate this offense from the urban legend, who is still very much so controlling the tempo of this matchup. Raven in the corner. Here comes Murder One, but no! Oh, Raven catching him with a boot right to the face, and Murder One collapses down to the canvas. Raven is still hurt, but I'm pretty sure that Murder One just swallowed a few teeth on that previous exchange. And now is the opportunity for Raven to catch his breath, collect himself, and turn this matchup around. Does when he think Raven's down and out, Raven pulls something out of his bag of tricks. And now Raven firing those shots and a beautiful clothesline bringing down Murder One. There's a shot from Marvelous Michael Stevens as well. Raven now taking out the entire conglomerate by himself. Clothesline once again. Brings down the urban legend trademark maneuvers being utilized here by Raven. And you've got to know that in a few moments, we're going to see the even flow DDT. The maneuver that Raven has used on multiple occasions to win several major championships. Oh, wait a minute. Raven jumping into the corner, but Murder One pulled the referee in the line of fire. And now the referee is down. Raven is still in control of this matchup, but now there is nobody to count the pin. Oh, would you look at this at ringside? It's Johnny Swinger, Raven's old arch nemesis, and now these two men are face to face. Oh, wait a minute. Apparently there's some kind of an alliance. Oh, what a swerve. Johnny Swinger and Raven are on the same page. Hell has officially frozen over. Swinger paying back murder one for earlier tonight. Raven extends the hit. Oh, but never trust Raven as he brings down Johnny Swinger with the even flow DDT. He doesn't need Swinger's help. Oh, wait, murder one, those schoolboys Raven. Referee back up, and it's over. Murder one defeats Raven. The winner of the match, murder one. Johnny Swinger has just accidentally helped murder one defeat Raven. Boy, that backfired. It would seem that Johnny Swinger came out to try to make sure that Murder One did not win this matchup. But Murder One, thanks to the inadvertent help by Johnny Swinger, has picked up the victory and goes to the next week's title match against Scott Steele with tremendous momentum. All yeah. oh, Raven taking out his frustrations on Marvel's like a and drives them down with an even blow DDT. Quote the Raven, nevermore. We will see you next week for more great championship wrestling. Hi guys, what about Raven?